Hi, my name is Mr. Cadilla, and today I'm going to show you how to make this one point perspective project here with all these shapes and 3D forms here. Now, first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of paper, I'm going to divide it in half. It doesn't have to be perfectly in half. So, this paper is about nine inches tall, so I'm going to put it around four and a half coming up. I just put a little line there, a little line here at four and a half. Your paper will probably be a different size. I'm gonna go ahead and connect these. Again, it could be, this line could be a little higher, it could be a little shorter, it's totally up to you. It doesn't have to be perfectly right down the middle. There we go, there's my horizon line. Now I'm gonna draw a little darker for this video, but you should be drawing lightly. If I draw too lightly, it just doesn't show up too well in the video. So make sure you do draw lightly. Now I'm gonna find a vanishing point, and I'm just gonna put it near the middle. You could measure it, but I'm just going to eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle. You could have it a little over to one side or the other. That's perfectly fine. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start drawing some shapes. So I'm gonna drop in first just a square on this right hand side or a rectangle just something simple to start with now make sure that these lines are parallel with the edge of your paper there if you're drawing like a rectangle or a square and you want to keep it simple you could have it tilted if you want to but I think starting off kind of simple will definitely help out so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this little square up here doesn't have to be perfect here I can always Use my eraser, of course. Now, you're going to take your shape and you're going to match up the corners with this vanishing point. That vanishing point is extremely important. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to take this corner here. Here's a little tip, too. Sometimes I'll put my pencil on the vanishing point, just kind of bump my ruler up against it. Now I can pivot my ruler up to that corner. I'm going to draw it down. You could draw it all the way to the vanishing point so it looks like it's actually coming out of the vanishing point, but I'm actually going to stop it. So it looks like there's a 3D shape floating here. So I'm going to stop it right about there. I'm going to go to my next corner here. Match it up to my vanishing point again. Bring it down until it's about the same length as that first one. And really it's your choice. You could have stopped this line up here. You could have brought it all the way down here. Like I said, all the way to the vanishing point. It's totally up to you. Then I'm going to do this last corner right here. Now as you're doing this, make sure you keep using that vanishing point. And just being kind of close to the vanishing point isn't good enough. You really need to be right on that vanishing point. I'm going to bring this one down to right about here. Now the length of these lines, if it goes a little too long, a little too short, it doesn't matter. That's why we have erasers and we continue drawing. Now to finish this shape, these lines that go on the bottom and on the side should mirror these lines that are on the shape. It should be parallel. So I'm going to stop the shape right about here. Now I'm not going to tilt my ruler here because that would not be parallel. I'm going to tilt it back so that it's parallel draw that line. Do you see how that line matches this line right here? I'm going to erase a little bit extra there. Now I need to match this line down to the bottom here. So I'm going to bring my ruler down. And this is where a lot of people get a little confused. They can match up that line. They go, okay, I got it. Then they come down here and they tilt the ruler and it gets off or whatever. So make sure you're matching that line. And of course this changes depending on the shape that you have. So go match up that line right there. Got a little bit extra. Erase that clean up that corner a little bit. There's my first 3D shape that recedes back to that vanishing point. And here I'm going to go ahead and draw another shape real quick. Um, let's go ahead and do a rectangle. I'm going to move this over here. Again, you could do really complex shapes. I'm going to keep them kind of simple for the sake of this example. We'll get into more complex shapes probably a little bit later in another video. There we go. Kind of clean up that edge. Now, if it's above the horizon line, you'll see the bottom of the shape. If the shape is below the horizon line, it'll show us the top of that shape. So again, I'm going to match it up to the vanishing point. Remember, use that vanishing point. Get right on there. Those corners. Got one more corner here. Like this. And I can close it off. Again, I don't pay too much attention how long it is. There's lines I can always go back and erase a little bit if I need to. Again, I'm going to parallel that line. Parallel this line right up here. So I'm going to go to this corner. Make sure that's parallel. Erase any extra I may have. And there we go. As you can see, we can see the top of that shape. Now one thing I also do want to show you are some of the mistakes. 
Here's some mistakes right here. First mistake, this one's pretty obvious. This one really isn't using the vanishing point very well. But also, it's just hand-drawn, didn't use a ruler. Now, there could be curves and things like that, but you might have to hand-draw or use something to kind of trace around. Like, for example, for this circle, I just use a roll of tape to kind of trace that. And that's totally fine. But this hand-drawn stuff kind of looks really sloppy. And, of course, again, I wasn't using the vanishing point there. This is totally off. Not only was it hand-drawn, but the vanishing point is like coming off the paper somewhere. So these converging lines, they should be going this direction towards the vanishing point. Now this one actually is drawn in perfect one-point perspective, but it's just kind of on the small side. Sure, you can have a few of those, but if you look back at the finished example, notice how these are nice and big and taking up most of the paper there. So you want to make your shapes nice and big. This one's fine. It just forgot one line, or a couple lines actually. This corner needs to match up with the vanishing point and go all the way over here and then it needs to have a parallel line now this gets a little tricky a lot of people will draw this line straight down this line that comes down should parallel this line so I'm going to bring my ruler over just like that erase a little bit of extra <clears throat> and now this one's finished now this one is sort of tricky the square's done fine, some of the perspective's all right. For example, the bottom of the um, shape here actually does go to the vanishing point. You can check it with your ruler, so this is fine. But what's happening with this side here? It's this line right here. This line should be mirroring this line, so it actually should look like a little bit more like this. And so we would have to erase this extra so it would look a little bit more accurate. However, there's one other thing that's going on. It's still kind of off. If you take a look at this line right here, put a ruler on it, it misses the vanishing point. So it actually should come down like this, which means the shape should look like that.